just finished the world's largest permeable paving project, an automobile, auto house, inventory lot, and it was massive, 15 acres, 653,000 square feet. You can imagine something like this has to be engineered and permitted, so it started actually about a year and a half before the project went on the ground. Well, we were approached by a engineering firm, a large engineering firm, that actually used TrueGrid before on several projects successfully. Now, TrueGrid is more than just you know, a product manufacturer. We also work directly with the education engineering side of it, too, so we you know, give them all the files they need for design work and just really make it simple for them. That way they can plug in and get the job done quickly and successfully. What we were able to do is take a project that was supposed to be concrete with a four acre detention pond and by utilizing TrueGrid they were able to use the entire 15 acres. So basically they went from 3,000 vehicles being able to park up to 4,000. Now not only did TrueGrid allow them the land savings by getting rid of the four acre detention pond that would have came with concrete and asphalt, um, ended up in the long run being cheaper alternative than concrete so their construction cost was less. So over that 650,000 square feet they saved quite a bit of money on the total construction cost. So installing the TrueGrid product was significantly less amount of time than it would have been for us to lay down concrete. The grid is really strong and actually you can drive on top of it without rock in it. The rock just adds, adds some more stability to the product. So once we get up to the entrance points for the 18 wheelers to bring in the rock, we have them drive directly on the grid to minimize the amount of work that we have to do. I like to get the 18 wheelers to dump it as at the spot that I would like so my guys can move it around a lot quicker and makes the installation process a lot faster. So the impact is massive. On this one project we can absorb 1.5 million gallons of water in any particular rain event. So, so it's a massive uh, help to keep businesses and homes in the surrounding area from flooding. On a global nature, we always look at this too because we're on an environmental mission. So there was close to 862,000 pounds of plastic recycled, high density polyethylene in this project. It's about 6.5 million one gallon water jugs, if you will. So if we took a one gallon water jug, empty jug, stacked one on top of the other to the top of Mount Everest, then did it 200 more times, that's how many water jugs, 6.5 million, it took to give you a visual of how much plastic is recycled. Of course, there's CO2 emissions that were avoided too, 4,000 tons of carbon footprint. And of course, importantly, is the stormwater filtering. And the detention, 1.5 million gallons of detention, but the filter, natural filtration of it going through the rock and into the soils, so all those auto pollutants that were running off the concrete instead now are filtered naturally before it reaches recharge in the aquifer. So. I love that we did install the world's largest permeable paving. Uh, it means a lot to our company and it means a lot that we were able to put TrueGrid, which is the strongest plastic paver out there, down the ground. To see scale and really impact something on a global level is really what we're trying to do here. So it takes all the small actions, but the big ones certainly help move that whole mission forward. It felt great to see that going in and see your idea on that type of scale and the impact in the community. You could feel it from the customers to the surrounding neighbors and the business owners in the neighborhood. It was a, it was a great thing, so it was awesome.